Hi guys, so today I'm showing you guys how to sign up for the Seventeen Fan Cafe on Daum and how to buy the Carrot 3rd Generation Kit off of Melon Ticket. Um, this video can be applied to other generations as well, but every year the application process might be slightly different, but you can use this as a referral point, I guess. So before we get into how to do everything, let's um, talk a little bit about why you might want to sign up for the Carrot membership. So the benefits include the issuing of a membership card, um, there is official items that come with the fan kit. So you also have a perk of being able to um, have early access to purchase certain concert tickets or fan meet tickets. Um, for example, Carrot Land. You'll also have like access to participate in the public broadcast events. Um, so for example, like Music Bank and stuff like that. Only official carrots who have purchased the membership um, can enter those because you have to show your official uh, carrot card. You will also gain access to the Carrot 3 zone in the official fan cafe. You will also have access to special merchandise for the fan club members only. So let's get started. Um, I'm currently signed in and logged on to the fan cafe for 17. Um, this is what it looks like if you have um, signed up for their account. So you have access to um, the boards and everything if you are a carrot. So right now I am a second generation carrot so I have access to the carrot 2 zone. Um, once carrot 3 rolls around you will have access to it if you purchase the membership. But before we even get into that you have to sign up for the fan cafe just as a regular member. Um, as a regular member you will have access to half of these boards, not all of them. Um, you will ha have access to like some of these right here and these ones. Um, so I will show you guys how to create an account. So I'm going to show you how to sign up for Daum, um, the fan cafe. So Daum is like a blogging website and it will give you access to the fan cafes. Um, again, on Daum, there are a whole bunch of different fan cafes. So for different K-pop groups and stuff like that. So I will link this link right here. This is to join um, Daum. Um, there are two methods which you can sign up for Daum. Um, there is one which is Kako Talk. You can just enter your Kako Talk information and you can create an account through that. Kind of like how you use Facebook login for a bunch of different things. This one is Kako Talk. Um, but this one right here, which is using your cell phone number. This is what I'm going to be showing you guys kind of how to do it. Um, the Kako Talk one is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to show you guys that one. But this one, if you choose to use the cell phone one, um, this one is this one. I'm going to show you. Anyways, so what you're going to do is you're going to say yes to the agreements first. And then right here, um, I already created an account for Daum, obviously. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to type in anything, but I'll explain this. Um, you can easily, if you are using Chrome, to translate the page, or you can even copy and paste what this is into translate, or you can learn Hangul and you can kind of figure out what this says. So the sun says Daum ID. So what you're going to do is create a Daum ID here. Um, right here, this says password, so you're going to enter a 8-character password at least, I believe, and then this one is re-enter and confirm the password. So right here, it says name, you're going to insert your name right here, and this one is for phone number, so you're going to insert your phone number, you're going to pick the region code, so I'm from Canada, so it says Canada here, um, you're going to select which one ever you're from, and then put in your phone number, and then you're going to press this, and it's going to send you a code. And then with that code, you're going to insert it into here and then you're going to verify it. And then right here is to insert a backup email account so they can send you um, something through that. I think if you need to like recover or something like that, I'm not too sure. This is optional, but um, just put an email in there just in case. And then once you do that, you're going to register. So if this doesn't work out and you're having some troubles um, to troubleshoot, I will link a couple of links on how to sign up for Daum in my description box again. So everything will be listed down below. So now that you have a Daum account, you want to be able to access the Fan Cafe. So I will link as well down in the description the 17 Fan Cafe link, which is cafe.daum.net pletus-17. So before um, trying to purchase the third generation kit, you will need to create yourself a nickname and everything. So my carrot 
um, name right here is uh, Love Nana, and you can change your nickname on here as often as you want. Uh, I recommend that you try not to change it very often just because it can get a little confusing. But what you're going to do is you're going to click this button right here. So I'm not too sure about this, but it's because I created my um, cafe account a while back. I believe if you click this button and it'll bring you to a confirmation or some kind of like service agreement or like terms and services or terms and conditions page, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click like agreement. So check the box and then you're going to click like OK, which is usually the bolded button that usually means OK. So after that, it should bring you to this page and right here it says nickname and what you're going to do is just insert a nickname for yourself and you can have up to 17 characters i believe so on here as well i recommend that you have these settings on it just makes your fan cafe experience a little bit easier i believe like um so certain admin people can actually see your posts and stuff like that um so i just set it on to this one right here it is konge, which I'm not too sure what that means, but I just set these settings on all of it to say that. And then I check mark both of these right here. And then I also put in a new like photo because normally it will have like just a random like um, Kako member like photo or something like that. And then once you have entered all that, you will click this button, which is to save it, I believe. If that was inaccurate or if you are having any problems or hiccups and stuff like that, because again, I'm not doing this for the first time, um, I will link a proper tutorial in the description box as well. Next step is to create a Melon Ticket account. So registering for Melon Ticket is quite simple because it is an English um, website. It is very simple. So all you got to do is go on the website. I will link it again in the description register right here and when you're registering it's all in english so it's very straightforward so you're going to input your name your email again you're going to confirm your email um password and re-enter the password you're going to check mark the user and privacy agreement if you want to read it go ahead you can expand the box and you're going to put input once you have created a melon ticket account you will be signed in obviously and you're going to go on the main page and you're going to scroll down until you find 17's official fan club recruitment so this is the third term one every year obviously it will look a little bit different but this is what this year's looks like and you're going to get tickets so once you have clicked on this um, it'll bring you to this right here and it has um information on how to apply for it and the benefits and so stuff i discussed about earlier um, if there's any questions that I can't answer, usually it's on here, but it is kind of confusing still. So if I will try to link like more information from like previous years and hopefully that helps you problem solve and everything. But anyways, so the button you're going to click is get ticket and a pop up window should be showing right here. But if it doesn't for you, what happens usually is that um, on your browser, there is a pop up blocked a symbol or like box right here that shows up so if you can see my cursor where i'm pointing at um so what you're going to do is you're going to click on that box um and you're going to say allow pop-ups from this website uh, so after you have clicked the get tickets button this window should pop up and right now i have full screened it just because it's easier for me to record and everything but um, yours should be a smaller window so what you see here is a page where you're going to be inputting information so for security purposes i am blocking a lot of my information out so please do not mind that so right here um because this is a um, melon ticket international um the global website the only delivery method is by international shipping or EMS. It has the member information from when you signed up for a Melon ticket. So it will have your name and your email address, but your phone number, if you have not inserted that in the process of sign up, I believe you do have to re-enter your mobile phone number. So what you're going to do now is you're going to scroll down a little bit and you will insert some fan club information so i have this on translate right now but if you do not translate it it will be in korean sorry i just my google translate thing just automatically turns on but right here so this one says actual username so what that means is you're going to enter your actual name so when you enter your actual name it will have to be the exact name that is on your passport and 
people are like, if I don't have a passport, what do I do? What you're going to do is you're going to enter your actual name on your ID or all your legal documents, essentially. Because if you do end up getting a passport or something, it will usually be with your proper documents and ID in your home country. Um, because if you do sign up um, for this membership and you decide you want to go to Korea and you want to pick up tickets, usually if you don't have matching names from your passport to the ID or your fan club membership, um, you're not going to get your tickets or you're going to hold up the line. It's going to be a whole like uh, fuss and stuff like that. So you do not want that. So you're going to put your full name with the correct spacing and stuff like that. Then right here, this is going to be your actual birthday. So you're going to do year, month, and day. So the year is two numbers only. Um, what you're going to do here for the actual user's contact details, you're going to put your cell phone number. Right here, you're going to put your Dalm Fan Cafe ID and not your Fan Cafe nickname. So your ID, which you signed up with Dalm with, that is the ID that they want, not your nickname. The reason why you don't want to put your nickname is because sometimes you can change your nickname, so that's not a proper way to put it in. You want to put in your fan cafe ID. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go down to the shipping address um, box right here and you're going to go to the country box and you're going to click search and you're going to find the country um, from which you are from. I'm from Canada so I'm clicking that and as you can see in the payment section in this box um, the total amount did change so it went from 30,000 um, to 71 1500 because the shipping fee from Korea to Canada via EMS is 41500 which makes my total pretty expensive. So it is fast shipping, so I'm not complaining. So what you're going to do next is you're going to put in your name, your first and last name. This doesn't have to be your full name because this is a shipping address. Um, you can even put someone else's name and stuff like that to a certain address which you want to ship it to. Um, and then you're going to insert the street address, city state and province, postal code, and your phone number in which you are shipping to. After you have done that, you're going to agree to all the terms because in order to purchase, you will have to agree to all the terms. And then you're going to select your payment method, which is international credit card. That is the only payment method that you can pay with for this website. Um, an international credit card just means a credit card which can pay internationally. So that includes a union pay, Visa, MasterCard, or JVC. Um, if you do not have this, unfortunately, you cannot pay with any other method. So I suggest finding someone who has an international credit card or credit card that can pay internationally. So I'm going to pay with Visa and then I'll check out. So this pop-up right here will be your payment screen. So it is by credit card. You have to click I agree to this box right here and you'll click next and then this part i am totally going to blur out because i do not want to give any of my card information so for the installment section right here it says installment um you can pay in the installment or lump sum which lump sum just means that you pay in total like you'll pay the whole amount at once which i will do so i'm going to blur out all these things so it's just reviewing your payment information and if everything looks fine um you're going to click send order so now I should bring you to a confirmation page and make sure everything is filled in correctly and you can close it or you can go to my ticket. So this is extra information. Um, if you don't want to purchase the third generation kit or any fan kit in the future and stuff like that, um, you still can level up on 17's Fan Cafe. I will link this little blog post from Pleta 17 on to or into my description. Um, this teaches you how to level up in the Fan Cafe, so you have more accesses to different boards. So you will go from like a regular member to like a upgraded member. Um, that's all it really does. It gives you a little bit more access. So it is quite a kind of a process. I remember doing it last time and you have to like show like screenshots from a streaming or you have to show your albums and stuff like that. But if that's something you're into and you're, you you want to look into, I will link that down below. So this is going to be the end of the video. I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. Um, if you guys need more help, again, I will link to a... Um, frequently asked questions page. This is right from Fallen Hosh off of Twitter. This is her listography. She had a like frequently asked question. So this applied to last year's the carrot second 
gen recruitment but there is like useful information right here stuff on like troubleshooting and stuff i will also link this again um just because it is kind of confusing so i will definitely link that for you guys so this is going to be the end of the video um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section. Um, but before you leave any questions, please, please, please check out my description box for any links and fully watch through this video before asking any questions. There will be probably a lot of the same questions um, asked over and over again, so I encourage you to read through all the links I have provided to you guys um, just because I am one person and I can't answer a billion questions. But yeah, I hope that this helped you guys a little bit and I might do a video on how to sign up for the Japanese Carrot um, website and stuff like that or membership um, if I decide to get that. I haven't decided yet. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye. Since I have even heard from you Should be telling you to leave Cause I, I know where it leads but I